Okay, so I was watching a trailer on Tony Todd's IMDb page, you know, normal stuff that normal people do. And I had a double take moment. Did you see it too? Let's rewind a little. There he is, the Axeman from the opening credits of Little Hope, my beloved fake Jason, not Kolchak. I'd always assume the clips from the opening credits of Dark Pictures games were a mixture of stock footage and custom made imagery. Like, I don't know that Supermassive was going to go out and shoot macro footage of a spider themselves, but it's not like they can just buy this shot of Mark from the ultimatum ending, can they? Despite the understanding that there was likely a bunch of stock footage in the credits, I'd never actually seen any of it anywhere else, so this was a super nice surprise. What was even more surprising is that there's another clip from this same stock footage video later in the trailer. Check it out. Is it just me, or does him putting the axe on his shoulder immediately remove basically all of this guy's threat? Like, when he's got the limp and the drag, it establishes him as a guy who's been injured, but he's still up, probably pissed, and is on his way to do something about it. With the axe on his shoulder, he just looks like a lumberjack going for a stroll. It's a little weird that he's doing it at night in the woods, but still, not particularly threatening? Knowing there was more to the footage meant I had to go and track it down immediately, which wasn't hard to do at all. Swung by Shutterstock, searched for man in the woods with an axe at night, and there it was. Creepy man walks through dark forest with axe. A video made by Canadian videographer Byron Kuchera. Let's watch the whole thing. See what I mean about the axe on his shoulder? Just not as creepy as the dragging part. It turns out though, the walking through the wood sequence is actually the end of a three video segment that starts with a creepy foot walking through the forest and continues through man walks through forest dragging axe before finally getting to the full body shot we know and love. Let's watch all of them in sequence. Now that's a nice progression, but wow, does it get spoiled by the chill vibe of the axe on the shoulder. In any event, it's nice to see where this little clip was pulled from. Does that mean that somewhere out there I can find the raw footage of man on fire wearing parka walking away from crashed car? I certainly hope so. Oh, and if you want to license the axe man footage for your own project, I'm including a link to it in the description below the video. I've been the Hidden Object Guru, thanks for watching. If you had a good time, please be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you back here for more Supermassive Games content, but until then I'll say that's right, au revoir.